So this guy's looking at me like I'm his very f***ing godmother. So I go, OK, buddy, you and me right here, right now, let's go. Because I didn't realize I, I was dressed like a fairy godmother. So I started hitting him in the head with my f***ing wand, you know? I tried changing it. I don't know what the f*** I was thinking. I turned it dawned on me, man. I'm not a fairy godmother. I'm just a little steam in the south curve. I guess you had to be there. The Clemens was. Malt Scotch Whiskey by McClemens. McClemens, you've done it again. Shut up! Shut the f off! Where is your ride? I drove. I'd like to return this VCR. It's stolen. I mean, I stole it. I mean, I don't need it anymore. Oh, Key Do you have your receipt? Hell no. Okay. Detective Gary Sinise from the New York Crime Lab. Listen, I know your name is not Gary Sinise. And you know what? Can you just knock it off? Hey, pal, if anyone's going to be knocking it off, it's me, Detective Gary Sinise. That's what I said. I'm telling you to knock oh, it you off. You knock it off. You don't know who you're messing with. I'm messing with a guy who thinks he's Gary Sinise from CSI New York. You got that right. You know, his name isn't even Detective Gary Sinise on the show. Well, what if I told you that I'm a crooked detective and I kidnapped your son with my partner in crime, Donnie Wahlberg? I'd say I don't have a son and that you're outlining the plot from ransom. Just pick up that phone over there and say, give me back my son. No. At least come over and watch CSI New York with me? No. The owl and the man, it's about an owl and the man. You're the have a friend that's an owl. And this one, the man is watching tennis. What are you watching? Oh, uh, uh, tennis? Who's playing? I don't know. Uh, what's the score? Oh, it's, uh, something love? Why are you watching this? Because it's HD. What's HD? Oh, it's a new uh, TV thing. Makes stuff look awesome. Cool. But everything looks squished and green. Oh, uh, that's because I have an old TV. So you don't have HD? No. Oh, but I like to uh, watch things that are HD. Uh, to see if they look different on my TV. Is it any different? No. Oh, the ball just hit the net. Is that how you win? I don't know. Sorry, sir, you can't sleep here. What, what year is it? I'm not falling for that, sir. You're gonna have to go. <sighs> Clever girl. I'm nobody's fool. You're a modern woman in a busy world. Charlie, you're gonna have a drinky schminky with the boss? Inappropriate. And sometimes you need the protein that only a pork pellet cereal can offer. Hey, honey, sorry I made you cereal for dinner again. I'm just really, really depressed. Well, that's okay. I love Hogger's cereal. 
That's all I need. Hogger's cereal. Tasty pork clusters roasted and dry rolled in 65% Saskatoon corn. Warning, all corn figures have been rounded up. He'll be crushed when I leave him. Hogger's cereal. Put some pork in your bowl. <laughs> Okay, before we get started, I would like to wish my mother a happy queef day. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, birthday. It's my mom's birthday today. Sorry. Mom? If you're planning on traveling to Southeast Asia this fall, beware of the wild typhoon season. Uh, excuse me, that's typhoon season. I don't even know what typhoon is. Likely some type of Thai prostitute, a small one. What we're looking at here is a little bit of transsexual downpour. If your last name is Pigeon, you're going to want to find some cover this weekend because I am just going to come buckets. I don't know about that, but it is going to be the type of day you're going to want to leave work early to go out and find ass play. Uh, place. No, you see, here's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Hi there. Sorry to bother you. I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna leave this here so I can go try on a stunning camisole. I won't be a minute. Thank you. Hey. Hi. Is that a baby? Yup. Can I have it? Think about the issue, follow it up with the right choice that you gotta make. Make the right decision, just Okay. What? Where's my baby? Hi! Gary, it's Pat. Oh, hey, man. Hey, dude, listen. I bought the cutest turtle today, man, and I named him after you. Oh, crap. Turns out my apartment building doesn't allow pets, so I was wondering if I could... No! What? But, man, I named him after you. Yeah, I know, Pat, but you keep buying pets because you keep forgetting that your building doesn't allow pets, and then I keep taking them in. I already have a dog named Gary and a parrot named Gary. I don't need a turtle named Gary. So if you think I'm going to let you give me another pet just because you named it after me, forget it. For starters, I didn't name the dog or the parrot after you. Really? Really? That dog was named Gary when I got it, and I didn't name that parrot after you. He just looked like a Gary. Yeah, he does look like a Gary. So now I bought a turtle, and I named him Gary out of respect for you because you're my best friend. Now, apparently, my apartment building doesn't allow pets, so you want me to just throw them away? I don't think you should just throw them away. So you'll take him? Yes, I'll take him. But this is the last time. Like, totally last time? Because I have this donkey named Gary. He's very clean. Goodbye, Pat. With Willie Montenegro. It was just like sticking out of the snake. So it's like two thirds of the snake. And it's fully erect. I'm gonna get that right here. I think that's a terrible tattoo. I think it'd be stupid to get that tattoo. Okay, well, I'm gonna get it. So, you working on a movie? Yes, I am. It's a bit of a passion project of mine. It's a Canadian biopic about 
Prime Minister John Diefenbaker. It's called Dief. Sorry, Dief? Yeah, Dief. 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 Sorry, Dief. D E E F? Dief? No, it's D I E F. No, that's Dief. Or Dief. No, it's Dief. Okay. Did I mention that the snake is on a skateboard? No, that's way better. We should both get that tattoo. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hi. I got this sweater for my wife's birthday, and she hates it. <laughs> now, the uh, tag's still on it, and here's the receipt. According to your rules, that's everything I require when returning an item, so can I return this, please? You gotta make the right decision, you gotta follow the rules, it's the game of what you play every day. Think about the issue, follow it up with the right choice that you gotta make. Make the right decision, just that! No thanks. Oh. Be careful with that vial. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. The, the fumes, they're rising. I can feel it inside my body. I, I can feel it too. I feel. Mm. Dr. Stubbins, what's gotten into. Oh. The chemicals there making me take off my trousers. Me too. The contents of the vial are making me play the Scissors Sisters CD on the boombox I brought in from home. Oh, no. The fumes will cause me to enjoy their songs. The fumes. Mm, enabling me. Scientists, what the hell are you doing? It's the fumes. The fumes are changing us. We were merely at the mercy of the fumes. Well, keep it down. Dr. Jekker and I are in the other lab, trying to have some real gay sex. Hey, if you're like me, you probably always want to be an actor. Oh, now you can. With the Brad Pitt method, I had to act like movie stars on stage. Come on, exciting tricks in the tray. I had to master the stage and own it. Learn such things as how to cry convincingly. Wah! Wah! How to talk to things that aren't there. Hey, skeleton. Hey, skeleton head. How's it hanging? Foreign accents. That's not a knife. This is what a knife looks like, matey. Arr. Come on, the Brad Pitt method on how to act like movie stars on stage. We're then here at the Crappy Theater Company. Please come. Call 555 Piss. I had a number with my last name in it.
Did I tell you I had an uh, audition for a movie this week? What movie was it? This is just this werewolf thing. Wolf Train. No, no, I didn't get that one. Uh, Wolf House? Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, David Allen Greer's in it. Um, me, hopefully. Yeah, Danny Glover's directing that. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get it, because I, I just got really nervous and threw up everywhere when I was in there. No, I'm sure it was fine. You didn't, you don't know how it is. It may not look that bad on camera. It doesn't pick up. Yeah, but, I mean, David Allen Greer had, like, this new suede jacket, and I just got all over it. On the camera, it probably looks fine. Cameras don't pick up a lot of fluids, so... It's just sort of the way the lens works. So. Great, yeah, yeah, I also, there's, there's some money on the table and I grabbed it. Yeah, you should never, don't ever do that in an audition. I don't know how, what kind of classes you took, but just don't take anyone's money in the audition room. I really need to get something soon, you know? Yeah. Uh, is there any way you can get me in on this deep thing? Or? Yeah, what do you know about the Cold War or Canadian politics? I didn't know we had that. Okay. All right, I want you to talk like John Diefenbaker. Just say something about the Cold War. Oh, uh, like, what am I talking about? The Cold War. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, can I just talk about cold stuff? Sure, it's the okay. same thing. <clears throat> ah, this is cold. Yeah. Uh, ah, this is, ah, this is, is cold. Ah, this is cold. Lewis, some idiot cloned that space monster you killed last week, and now he's attacking the city. Uh-oh. We need Rage Rabbit. Well, I need to turn on the basketball game. What? We're down 20 already? Oh, way to compete, guys. Oh, yeah, don't worry about dribbling the ball off your foot out of bounds. It's probably hard finding the court right beneath you. Oh, how kind of you let him have a layup. Your defense is pure ass. Don't worry about making baskets. I'm sure they'll invent some other way to score points in this sport during halftime. You guys are the worst. This makes me vomit out loud! Ah! He's lost a lot of money gambling on basketball. Why don't you take your kid to work day? Why don't you take your kid to work, guy? Why don't you take your kid to work day? No, why don't you take your kid to work day? Oh, I insist. Just go over there and take your kid to work day. Oh, I would love for you to take your kid to work day right now! Oh, big man! You need to take your kid to work day in a major way, my friend. Why don't you take your kid to work day? Why don't you call me when you take your kid to work day? You take your kid to work day! 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 You will take your kid to work day! You take your kid to work day. Hey boss, guess what I'm calling you on? My new iPhone. No, it's like an iPod, but it's a phone too. Syncs up to my desktop. It's got Wi-Fi so I can go on the internet. Yeah, so get this. I'm at Williams Cafe the other day because they got Wi-Fi. I'm on my iPhone, farting around on YouTube. I start looking at old Hercules cartoons. They're hilarious. Hey, boss, how come when Hercules jumps off Mount Olympus, his stroke never flies up? It always just sticks to his legs. Hold on a sec, boss. Mr. DeSantis? Yeah, what's it up? Yo. No, I don't want to see his thing, okay? I'm just wondering why it didn't fly out. What? Oh, yeah, I'm gay because I pay attention to physics. What does that make Einstein? Oh, don't say that. He's done a bunch of cool stuff.